Well, viewers who tune into MTV for their minimum daily requirement of rock music will be getting something extra starting today. Their favorite rock stars will be urging them to register to vote. We'll show you what we're talking about in this half hour. Percent of the voters between 18 and 24 even bothered to go to the polls. Well, the people who run MTV have decided to do something about that, and it may surprise you. I can change the way they run in this country, and so can you. Register and vote. Take control of your destiny and register to vote now. The reward will come from your choice. And if you don't vote, democracy doesn't work. Consider the alternative. MTV Executive Vice President and General Manager Lee Masters is here to tell us about those commercials that you just saw, and good morning to you. Good morning. What gave you this idea to do this, to get into the political arena? Well, our thought was we really, you know, most of what we do is entertainment. That's what people come to us for. But we reach a lot of young people every single week. We're in 40 million homes. And we thought that uh, it was very important for us to get involved in this. We try to consistently do public service projects, and this seemed like the obvious thing to do this year. What type of influence do you expect these spots to have? We hope there's no way to quantify it. We really don't know at this point going in what, what we can expect, but we think uh, we can have a... Uh, big impact when you consider the percentage of young people that that, that are that are capable and eligible to vote that uh, don't take the time to register or don't take the time to actually vote we think we can have a we can have a profound effect on that also joining us to discuss this issue in our Burbank Bureau is Frank Zappa and good morning to you Mr. Zappa Good morning you've been registering kids at your concerts to vote how's that been going real well we just finished the u.s part of the tour we did about eleven thousand new voters in this part of the tour and how do you make that appeal do you just stand up and on stage and say i've got some booths out there i want you to go out and vote why do you i mean register why do you tell them it's important well the first thing you have to do is you have to get some volunteers out there to man those tables and that was not easy to do but what i tell them from the stage is the same thing that i said in that little clip from mtv if you don't register you can't vote and if you don't vote democracy doesn't work but do you think you're able, as a rock star, as an idol to a lot of people, are you able to get kids to register to vote where a politician perhaps might not be able to do the same thing? Uh, for two reasons. One, because I probably have more respect than the politicians do. <laughs> and two, because I make it easier for them to register to vote because I bring the facilities to them rather than forcing them to go to City Hall or, uh, in the case of some places in the South, you must register in the basement of the jail. So these are deterrents to registration, so we try and make it easier for them. Well, registering to vote is only half of the problem. What are you going to do, Mr. Masters, about once you've registered them vote, how do you get them to actually go out and vote? That's obviously the big goal. That's the big goal, and that's the hardest part, and that's the last part of uh, the last phase of the campaign. About 30 days before the election, we changed the, the thrust of the campaign to get people to remind them, well, now that you've uh, registered, be sure you get the vote. Even though Mr. Zappa has been involved in the political arena, a lot of rock stars, I know, shy away from wanting to get involved in politics. Did you have a hard time getting people to get involved with these spots? A lot of people would say, I don't know. Actually, it's quite the opposite. We've had a, we've had a very, very good response. Almost everyone we've contacted wanted to participate in some manner. The only turndowns we had were really a function of availability of people for the shoots. You actually also go out to British rock groups. Is yes. there any discrepancy there? You've got British rock groups telling people in America to vote? Uh, we thought there'd be a problem, and some of them have expressed that concern initially, but the, real, the important thing is that we communicate the message to, to young people. Uh, the fact that uh, they themselves are not eligible, eligible to vote in this country is not a factor. Mr. Zappa, you have been, as I said, involved in the political arena. You have been very active in uh, trying to get, uh, make sure that rock lyrics and rock albums do not get cens censored. Some people might say you're trying to uh, build your own little po political coalition out there. Are you? No. Do you have any political agenda by signing up people to vote? No. Absolutely none. Same as Mario, nothing. Do you, do you tell kids, though, do they talk to you at all after the concert's over, say, I don't really know if I want to vote, I don't know, I feel put out by the whole process? No, actually, what they find is once it's been suggested to them and the facilities are there at the concert, they're enthusiastic about it, and they kind of like the idea of having some power in their lives. And then I meet some who say, well, does my vote count? Does it really matter? Uh, and I try and explain to them, it's not just who is going to win as a personality in the election. 
it is all the local propositions that'll be on the ballot that will affect them in the town where they live and they have to keep their eye on that sort of thing. Let me ask you as I asked Mr. Masters, are you going to try to get people to actually get out the vote as well now that you've registered them? Uh, we're doing this in conjunction with the League of Women Voters, the Citizens Action Groups and the USPIRG groups around the country and as they do the registrations they will actually be doing callbacks to the new registries before the election. Frank Zappa, Lee Masters, thank you both for joining us this morning. Have a wonderful holiday weekend. The good thing about this also is that it's bipartisan, right? That's absolutely right. Terrific. Nice to Thanks. see you. And we will be back in just a moment, but first, these messages.